it's graduation season and i want to help you go from this to this look at how cute that is let's get started hello everyone and welcome to crafting with delanda it's me again delanda and thank you so much for joining me today if you have someone in your family who is graduating this year i want to help you personalize some water bottles for them when my son graduated he graduated in the middle of the pandemic and it was so hard to find ways to celebrate so i am going to show you one of the things that we did to celebrate my son we had personalized water bottles we had a lot of personalized things for him and since I really don't have any children who are graduating this year, I just decided to use photos from when my daughter's graduated to personalize these three water bottles and they came out so super cute. I am going to show you how to do this. Now I will be using Canva and I'm going to show you how to use Canva if you have the pro version or if you just have the free version of Canva. And I'm also going to demonstrate how to bring those files into Cricut Design Space. I'm going to show you all the things just like I always do. At the end of this video, if you find it helpful, please consider liking the video, subscribing to my channel, and turning on the bell for notifications because I do upload new content every single week now without further ado let's get started before i review the materials let me demonstrate how i measured for my labels so what i did was i removed the label from a water bottle so this is just one of the labels and i used my cricut ruler to see how long the label was so I just put it like right here on the edge and it still has a little bit of stickiness to it. And I can see that the length or the width of this label is right at about eight and a half inches. And this label is right at about, it's a little bit more than one and a half inches, but I knew I wanted my label to be wider than this because I wanted to, you to be able to see the image on the label. So I made mine two inches in height. So my length is eight and a half and my width is uh, two inches. Okay, now let's review the materials that we're using for this project. The materials I'm using for this project include my Cricut Maker. I'm using a Cricut ruler to measure the labels. I might use this tape just as a way to cover the labels and protect the paper, even though I don't feel like I need to, so this is optional. The paper that I like to use is Ava vinyl sticker paper. However, you can use any vinyl sticker paper you want to use. This one is water resistant and I've gotten good results from this one. I'm using the glossy version and i am using the full size water bottles these are 16.9 ounces okay we will go into canva so i can show you how i'm going to set up my template and then i'm going to bring the template into cricut design space and when it's time to print i will be using my canon mx472 printer this printer is no longer on the market but you can use any ink jet printer that you have on hand all right let's head into canva and then straight into cricut design space i am on the home page of canva and i am logged in i will be using a pro account however i will demonstrate how to also follow this same process if you don't have a pro account the first thing I would suggest you do is go over here to the right to custom size and the default setting here is for pixels. I like to use my measurements and look at my measurements in inches. So I'm going to make a selection for inches. For the width, I'm going to change it to 8.5 and for the height, I'm going to change it to 2 and I'm going to select create new design. 
Okay, so then what will happen is it'll open up in a new window and I have this blank page right here. And this is the exact right size of eight and a half by two. If you're not using this size water bottle, what I suggest you do is measure the water bottles you're using and make your measurements fit that item. OK, now, because my girls school colors were black and gold, everything that I'll do in this tutorial will be centered around those colors of black and gold. So the first thing I'll do is go over here to the left and I will click on elements and I will do a search for black and gold background. OK, and you have options here, you can look through photos, you can look through graphics, you can look through videos. I would not suggest looking through videos because this is going to be a printed image. But let's look through graphics and click see all. Because I have a pro account, it's going to have a, co a combination of some pro options and some free options as well. Now, when I'm looking through here, I'm looking for um, images that will look like celebration kind of stuff. So I like this with the balloons. I really, really like that. OK, so if I wanted to use that one, I can tell just by looking that this is a pro option. Anything that has a crown is considered as a pro option. If it doesn't have a crown, it's free. So right here I can look and see this is a free item, but I'm going to show you how to nav um, how to narrow the search down and look through the free items only. But we're going to do our pro option first. So right here, I've selected this one. I'm going to right click and I'm going to set this image as the background. And so now this is the complete background of my canvas. And I kind of like it, but then I kind of don't because I don't really like the way the balloons are just overshadowing everything. But let's look at this one right here. Let's see this option over here. Let's do replace background. I like that also. It's not, you know, overshadowing everything. Let's look at this one. The places I like that it's very simple, but let's keep looking. I want something that's going to be kind of bold, but not too much. Let's see what this one is. Let's see, replace background. I also like that. Let's see, black and gold graduation. OK, so here are a lot of different elements you can add. Ooh, I like some of this. Oh, I like this. Let's see that one. OK. Let's detach that and delete it. And let's see what we can do with this. So now this one is not really considered as a background. So if I wanted to use this as a background, I would have to just like stretch it all the way out. And I could, but I don't know if I would be distorting it too much uh, maybe not delete i like this one so much but let's delete it i like that i really like that we're going to go with this one okay so this is going to be my background now, what I would also do is I would go back to elements and I would do a search for a frame. Now, with frames, they work perfect with any template because once you add a frame to your canvas, you can upload an image and it will fit perfectly in the frame. So I want an oval frame. So I'm going to click see all and do a little scroll down search for an oval frame. I like this one right here. And I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. I don't want it to stretch all the way to the bottom, but I do want it to be, you know, centered in the middle. Now, 
I'm going to go to uploads and I'm going to upload an image of my daughter that I want to use. So make sure you have your files available. So let's just say, for example, I wanted to use this photo right here. I would click upload. I would once the image finishes uploading, I could click it and it would fit right in that frame perfectly. Now, the thing I don't like about this frame is that it has this orange border, but I can change that. Anytime you see options at the top right here for colors, that means the color can be changed. I can click on here and I can see the color of the frame is this orange color and I don't really like that. The color I want is more of a gold. Okay, I like that. All right, so I want this I want that photo to be just like that. Here are some just blank barcodes. I can add a barcode right here if I wanted to. And here's my color option again. I know I can change the color of it. And I'm going to change it, of course, to white. I could also change it to gold if I wanted to. And I know I want to rotate it so that it's more in this direction. I think that looks great. All right. And I can delete this. And I can just have the barcode over here somewhere. Okay. And whenever you see this line, see this like magenta colored line, I can see that the barcode is centered with the photo in the middle. I think that looks great. Now, if I wanted to add some text, I could just add a text box over here that just says, thank you for celebrating with us or congrats or anything like that. I can add that. But what I want to do is add some graduation elements so i'm going back over to elements i'm going to i just typed in graduation and i'm going to look at the graphics and see if there's anything i want to add over here so now if my daughter was class of 2024 of course i might want to add that of course i have the color options here i want the color to be white on the outline and i also want the color to be white on the on the the inner part and uh, let's see, we want the zero 2024. So we want white and white. And we're going to bring this right over here. Let's kind of uh, do this like this and do this one maybe like this and kind of move it up. And let's make these letters a little bit smaller. Okay, like that. We want them to be the same size. Okay, let me duplicate this one. And we need a four. So let's go back and let's get the four. And we want it to be white and white. And we want to bring the size of that down. Okay, and we're going to want to do it like that. I like that. And if I wanted to change that inner, the inside color, I could, you know, change it to match the color of the border right here. Okay, so we have options right here. Change that. We can change that. All right. I think that looks great. And let's look for some more elements. Let's see. Graduation. Or oh, graduate. Let's look for graduate. All right, and we want graphics. Let's see what they have available. We can do congratulations. We can put that right here at the top. We can just make it smaller. We can move her photo down just a little bit. Okay, now I think that looks great. That looks great. All right, let's see what other options they have. Um, uh, congratulations. If I wanted to just add some grad caps, let's see what else they have. Maybe we just add some balloons or something like that. Okay. I think this is fine. And what we can do now is just add a text box 
and we're going to click over here and we're going to actually move the text box over here and it's going to say thank you for celebrating with us and we will make the font bigger let's delete that t and make it even bigger and we will bring the text box in a little bit and bring it up and hopefully you can tell but i'm leaving space here on the ends so that when i wrap the label around the bottle I won't, i'm not in jeopardy of messing up or covering up any part of the design so what i'll do with the text is i will I'm going to go back to elements and i'm going to add a shape behind it and we will change the color of it to maybe let's see what white will look like and maybe let's see i think gray is fine or maybe black okay that black one is fine and i can also change the text the color of the text to gold so it matches the other colors and with effects i can um let's see if i can make it a neon color i think that looks great and that will be it for that water bottle so now let's design another one and this time let's use all of the free options that are available within canva so what i'll do here is click on add page and adding a page just basically adds another label for me to print and what i'll do now is i'll go back to elements i'll do a search for black and gold uh, background and I'll click enter, but instead of seeing everything that's available, I will narrow my search to only look for free options. And then I'll just click enter. So now this narrowed my search and it's going to only show me everything available that's free. Okay, so I can look at the photos first and see if there's anything I like. Now this, is a free option and i think is great i can select this and i can set the image as my background but let's keep looking and see if there are any others that we like this one is nice i see oh, oh my goodness this is awesome okay here's another one that looks great okay so there are a lot of free options what's this one let's see what that one is that one is really nice too there are a lot of <clears throat> free options available. So don't feel like you have to have the pro version of Canva. Okay, so here we are with the free option. Let's go back to elements and we are going to find the frame. And remember the frame just helps us add a photo. For the first one, I used an oval frame. You can use any frame. You can use a square frame or rectangular frame. Let's look at all of the options. Okay, so that part is always optional. Let's look at this one right here. This is just a like a just a rectangle. Okay, let's look. Let's see how we would do with that one if we didn't want to use an oval and I, that's a great option you can see it's free there's no uh, fee for that one and i would go back over here to my uploads and i would add a photo or i would upload a different photo if i didn't like any of these but if i wanted to use one of these i could so i could just click on the photo see and, I, and once i click it drags the photo over and i really don't like that photo for this so i would really just like delete that I want to delete the image all right let's look at this one I think this one looks great right and if I wanted to make the photo bigger like more um, prominent in the frame I could do that just by double clicking on it and stretching it out 
I think this looks great. That looks fantastic. All right, and so now let's go and find some more elements. If we still want to have a barcode, let's go back to elements. Let's click out of frame. Let's look for a barcode. Let's click on barcode. And we're back to having all of the elements, but we want the what free option. So we're gonna to go to free and click up here and click enter. So let's see what options we have available. Still a lot of great options, which I think is absolutely fantastic. So I would, you know, choose a barcode. I could choose this one if I wanted to, and I could bring it over. I can change the color of it to white. I could change it to gold if I wanted to. And I would, you know, do the same thing as far as rotating it uh, by 90 degrees. And I would bring it over here and I could start to add some more elements to it. So let's look at 2024 graduation or 2024 graduate okay and see what options we have we want to find all of the free options and we're going to click enter and let's look at the graphics let's click see all we still have the option to get those same exact letters if we wanted to or we could use some other letters that are already standard It doesn't make sense for me to redo it though. I'm just going to grab these, but holding my shift key. And I'm going to go ahead and group these. And then I'm going to click copy and just bring this set down right here. So now I have that same set and if I can copy this, group this. By grouping it, that means I'm just selecting it so it's two things being selected at one time and i'm going to duplicate this i can bring this down okay let's see if we can look for black and gold black and gold balloons Okay, let's do congrats and we can change the color of congrats to white and let's let's move this over here and let's change this like that and make it a little bit bigger this is still a free option. All right. I think this looks great. I think this looks excellent. All right. So now we have a pro version of the template. We have a free version of the template. Now, like with this outline, I do not like that gray color. So, of course, I would change it to the gold and I could make it bigger if I wanted to. I can make it smaller. Let's add one more page because my daughters are twins. And a lot of times when we celebrate, we're celebrating both of them at the same time. And so just in case you want to see this full process again, let's do it one more time. Let's do a black and gold background. All right, so now I'm finished with all three of the templates. And now what I'm going to do is just give this a name. So I'm going to call this water bottle labels. And I will 
click share. And what I'll do is click download. And I'm not going to download all three pages at one time. I'm going to download them one page at a time and I'll upload them into Cricut Design Space one page at a time also. So what I'll do is instead of all three, I want to do page one first. So let's just take all that out. I want to download page one, click done and download and then I'll download page two, and then I'll download page three. Now, if you download all three pages at one time, it will give you a zip file, and then you just have to unzip it. I just prefer to do it this way. You can do it the other way if that's what you prefer. So I'm going to click share again and download, and I'm deselecting this. I'm going to download page two and click done, download, And then same with the last one, I'm going to select share and download. I'm going to click here, deselect the first option, and I'm only going to download page three and click done and download. So now I'll have all three pages and now it's time to upload them into Cricut Design Space. So what I'll do is select the first image and click open. And this is what the image looks like. I think it looks fantastic. I'm going to select complex and continue. I'm not going to make any changes right here. I'm going to select apply and continue and print, then cut image and upload. And I'll do the same thing for the other two, upload image, browse. I'm going to my second image, open complex continue no changes here apply and continue print then cut image upload third image browse go to the image open complex continue apply and continue print then cut image upload and i will add all three to my canvas so i'll select the first one and the second and the third, and I will click add to canvas. When all three images come in, they will not come in at the right size, but that's okay. Just separate them and then resize. So right here, the width, remember the width was 8.5. I'm just gonna click 8.5 and the height automatically defaults to 2.002. .002. I'm not gonna change that. I'm gonna keep it just like that. I'm gonna do the same thing here. Change the width to 8.5. And, and with the last one, I will click on the width and just change it to 8.5, okay? And I'm finished. I'm not worried about these caution symbols. This is just something that's been going on in Cricut Design Space. I am good to go and I will click make and I'm going to say no, don't save because I don't need to save this. Now I am going to use eight and a half by 11 paper, not eight and a half by 14. You can print up to three labels on one sheet. So I do want to move them out just a little bit. I don't want them to be cut that close. Okay, like that. And now I'm going to select continue and send to printer. And because this is not sublimation, I do not need to mirror the images. I am going to turn the ad bleed off and I am going to use system dialog. I'm going to select print. I'm printing from my Canon MX470, I said 472, my Canon MX470 printer. I'm going to select preferences. What I typically do, make sure you select print preview. I am going to select uh, photo paper. Well, I'm going to select other papers, other photo paper, and my print quality will be on high, and I will click OK. And what will happen is I will get a print preview. So let's see what the print preview looks like. That looks excellent. And I will click start printing and I will put my 
paper in the printer with the glossy side facing down because that's the print side for my printer. Everything I'll do from here will be back on the camera. This side of my paper is shiny. This is the print side. I am going to place this in my printer face down because this is the side I want to print on. I typically do not leave any paper in my printer just in case there is a misfeed or anything like that so I'm not wasting materials. I'll get this printed and then we will move over to the Cricut. This is what the printed image looks like with that paper, which is the reason I love that paper. What I'm going to do is place the printed image on my green standard grip mat in the same direction that it's in on the computer. So I'm going to just place it down on the mat, just like that in the same exact direction. I'm going to open my Cricut Maker and I'm going to get the three rectangles cut out so i don't have to do it myself the setting i like to use is infusible ink transfer sheet cut setting and i'm going to press the flashing c and let my cricut cut this out for me My images have finished cutting and now I'm just going to remove the labels and put them on top of the label that's already here. There's no need to remove this label because you won't be able to see it anyway. So I'll get a weeding tool to help me pick this up and I'll just start to wrap it around the bottle. So what I'm going to do is just peel away the excess first so I can see exactly where the water label the water bottle label starts and then I'll pick it up from there so here's the first one it's sticky and I'm just going to stick it to the bottle Just gonna pull it around, making sure there are no bubbles or gaps or any of that. And there's the first one. That's what it looks like. I could have cut that white part off and if that bothers you, then I definitely suggest cutting that off, but I'm gonna leave it like that for now, okay? So there is the first one. Let's do the second one. Let's see if the second one has any of that white on it. So the second one doesn't have that white part on there. And I don't think it really matters where you start with the label. I'm just pulling it tight. There's the second one. That's so cute. Oh my gosh, look at me. Let me see if I can fix that. We don't want the label to be crooked. Definitely want it to be straight. So be careful about that. Maybe just keep it steady and follow the line. Definitely not doing a good job on this one.
<laughs> did not do the best job on that one, but it's going to be great. It's going to be fine. Make sure you do a better job than me, but maybe stick to staying in the groove. Let's try if I can see if I can do it better the third time. Let's see if the third time is the charm. Okay, let's see if we can do better this time. I'm just going to keep the water bottle on the table and just see if I can roll it around. I can tell that I'm not doing a great job right here, but it's going to be fine. It's fine. Everything is fine. That looks great. That looks great. That's perfectly fine. It's for one-time use, and I think it looks great. So, hopefully you have found this tutorial helpful. Let's see. Now, let's just say you are going to be putting your water bottles in a cooler, and you're worried about the ink bleeding or, you know, not staying on there or the water bottles coming off, the labels coming off. You can always just cover it with some scotch tape to protect it. And um, let me just show you what I would do. So let's just get a bottle. Here's the scotch tape. Just wrap it around the same way I did with the label. Let's see if I can do better with the tape than I did with the actual label. And this will protect it from the ink bleeding or any of the water, um, the ice and the condensation and all of that. And you can't even tell it's on there, okay? You can do a better job if you want to make sure you to measure your tape if it's, you know, eight and a half uh, inches wide or something like that but that's exactly what I would do or you can just you know start it with the roll if you have one that's on a roll like this maybe start at the back back here and then just go around cut it off at the end okay so hopefully you have found this tutorial helpful if you did please remember to like the video subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell for notifications because i do upload new content every single week thank you so much for joining me today and thanks for watching Bye.